You know how you say you don't hear God talking to you in his silence? God is working in the background. Think about it. You go through things and you pray for him and you go out for him. And God been blessing you by things have been positive in your life. After you went through that storm, you could see things are getting better because you getting favor where you usually don't get favor. You know what I mean? You're it's hard to explain. You're feeling more relaxed. You can sleep more. You're not as just weary like you used to be. You you gave your burdens to the Lord. You know what I mean? It's like you don't hear God talking and sometimes you don't know where you're supposed to be. But when the Lord come in your life, right where you at in his plan is where you're supposed to be. Because really only the Lord knows your plans. You don't know your plans. You're just following that path. And, and the Holy Spirit that he leads with you is going to guide you to keep you in the righteous, doing the right things, giving you knowledge on that word and things that you do that's wrong or right or who's good and who's evil. He give you discernment for that. He give you all the gifts you need to stay along that path because when you think that you're by yourself, you're not because the Lord has you with his right hand. He will never leave you or forsake you. And if you apply your life to those 10 commandments and his word and being obedient and seeking him daily, keeping that armor on, it's going to protect you. You got to do your part too. And know that when you do that, his word in that Bible, if you read it, that's why you got to read it. And I'm guilty of sometimes being slow on the Bible. I have to get in it more. You know what I mean? With my everyday life, you know, taking care of myself and all that. You got to spend time with the Lord. Sometimes I'll shut down what I'm doing and I'll come home and I'll try my best to get in the spirit. You know what I mean? And pray and, and diligently seek him because he's important because he's the reason you breathe. He's the reason why you wake up every morning. You can't forget that. I don't care what nobody say. Ain't no man made us. The Lord created us and we should have more respect to the fact that after all the things that happened on earth in the beginning of the creation, Adam and Eve, he could have destroyed everybody then. He could have just left it the way it was, but he tried to clean up humanity by the Noah's art. You know what I mean? And spirits, somehow spirits are still left out there, those fallen angels, or with the, with the enemy, the devil. You know what I mean? And I think that's what's jumping in the people left and right, causing them all of a sudden to kill their family, kill their kids, snapping for no reason, shooting up the place. Them are, that's the enemy working through them people because there's something in the people that's not healed. They didn't take the time out to do the work. They let the life get the best of them, and that's what the devil wants. But the Lord comes in your life to bring you peace. To help you through every life circumstances. He didn't say it was going to be perfect and you weren't going to go through nothing. But he, if he's in your life, you could go through it more peacefully, more easily. Because he's going to help you fight every battle that's put before you. And you're going to know when you come out of it and you're still standing and you're still living, he helped you defeat every battle and situation you're going through. Think about it. You didn't do it on your own. And every word apply to you. If you're living by his commandments, like I said, think about it. Those who bless others, he'll bless you. Those who curse others, he'll curse them. You know what I mean? For his children, he's going to take care of you. And uh, touch not my anointed. He meant every bit of that. Every word in that Bible applies to your life. How he, Job went through what he went through. Sicknesses and all. And he still seek the Lord daily. He never gave up. The enemy wants you to give up. Think about it. Job never gave up and the enemy was trying his best. And the Lord let the, the devil test Job. Job never gave up. He lost children, land. He was rich all in and he still loved the Lord. He never changed his heart about the Lord. And he got back everything and more. Even, in, even though he lost his children. You know what I mean? God it's showing us in that word how he is, how he forgives, his ways, what you have to do to stay on that, that straight and narrow path. You got to seek, you got to go through his son to get to the to, to the father. It's just simple as that. He the one died on the cross for your sins. Think about it. If we don't go through Jesus, how we going to make it? 
Because God gave his only begotten son to die for selfish people, people that hated him, abused him. And God wasn't disappointed that he put his son, let his son die up on that cross. He did it to save humanity. He ain't no joke, though. When you cross him, he ain't no joke. I'm sure if you read the word. But through Jesus helps us to get to the Father so we can get all the things that we were meant to get in this life. And by you sitting out there worrying about what people say, that's what stresses you out, causes your health to go bad. Worrying about what people say or when people don't talk to you, that's the enemy. All of a sudden, they shut down because they want you to call them, chase behind them. No, love don't work that way. If a person wanted to be around you or be in your life, you shouldn't have to go through the extreme just to see a person, just to speak to a person. If people don't be, want to be around you, let them go. They not part of your plan or they will still be there with you. Think about it. We, the devil want to distract you from reading that word. So you will never know all the things that the Lord have in store for you. He give you power to walk on scorpions and serpents. He give you power to have authority over the enemy. You just got to make sure you seek him, praise him, fast, pray. Spend time with the Lord because he's a jealous God. All you got to do is spend time with him. Praise him. He got blessings in store for you that's held up. You call heirs of Jesus Christ. You have inheritance. God is mysterious. One day money can pop up in your bank. And you never know where it came from. And he don't play around. When he bless you, he bless you. But he first have to test you. Yeah, you're going to go through hard struggle, trials and tribulations. It's a part of life. The devil ruled kingdom earth. You already know that. Until, until he is judged and put in hell. Like he going because he already judged. You know what I mean? There ain't no turning back from that. He's still doing his dirty deeds. Trying to destroy people's life. He steals from you by making you miss your blessings. By turning you against God. He robbed you by putting people in your life to steal your blessings. And he killed you by either driving you mentally insane or stressing you out so much with things in the world coming at you left and right, your health get bad and you end up catching things or getting sick, having heart attacks. All of the devil is all of that destruction that's happening in your life. You know what I mean? Put up a, a, a trap for you to be in a car accident. Take your life and others' life. That ain't nothing but the enemy. God is here to make sure you detour away from the enemy's traps and the path that the Lord have you on if you stay faithful, you safe. And as you be safe and you diligently seek him, he going to bless you because you ain't gave up. We don't know when he going to bless. The Lord don't go by time. It's about the Lord's plan. Remember that. He don't go by time. He is not a person of time. We can't rush him. It might seem like he's slow, but he come on time. It might not be when you want it, the way you want it. But he going to give you what you need. Not all the time what you want, what you need, what's best for your life. He knows what's best for us. That's why we got to put our trust in him. Think about it. You wake up every morning. It's people that was around school shootings, grocery store shootings, road rage, and a bullet never touched you. You could be next to the gunman and never get shot. That ain't by coincidence. That's by his grace. So no. That if you learn that Bible, and I'm, I'm guilty of it, I got to finish, I got to keep studying. Because I pray for people that come to the platform. I really do. Fasting, I haven't did that in a while. You know what I mean? I used to fast for y'all, pray for y'all. Make sure when y'all come here, you find peace. That you find salvation. That you see the light in me because I really diligently seek the Lord. I'm not perfect and I'm still growing in the spiritual. You know what I mean? But as I go on this journey and I, I get defeated, a lot of times I go through trials and tribulations, but I still show up to this platform so I can give encouragement. And I try to do it with a sense of humor. I try. I, I like being funny, making people laugh. You know what I mean? That's my character. It's always been like that. But now I'm doing it for the, for the Lord. You know what I mean? I'm doing it to bring people so they'll want to learn who he is and know that he is great. He gave me my joy back. It was time where I didn't laugh, tell jokes or smile. I felt defeated. I wanted to give up. I didn't want to live life. 
But he came in. Y'all. And you can feel his presence, like his arms is all around you. It's like you 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 not alone. You you know that something was with you. Like when I was in that car accident, something was with me. Something gave me calmness. Them two cars crashed at the same time. No airbag came out. Thank you, Jesus. And I survived. My shoulder might have broke. It might be a little off from the other one. But I'm still breathing. My kids still get to see their mom. My grandbaby still get to see his grandmother. And I still got a chance to change my life. And show them that I've changed. And they proud of me now from where I was to where I'm at now. That you can change if you have the Lord in your life. If you just seek him. And just want to be something better than what you used to be. Want to live your life in a positive way. No matter what comes at me. I just want y'all to know. Don't give up. I'm still on that road. And I know. His promises in that word for us ain't going to change. It's just for no one person. His words never come back void. It's in the word. What that tell you. Everything that he promised you when you live for him. He going to do it for you. But if you turn away and you stop and you get tired, that's what the devil want. That's how he steal from you. He don't care about you. He hate, he hate the heavenly father. He hate God. He wants you to turn away from him. And he going to laugh when you're destroyed. Know that when you read that word. The Holy Spirit is going to guide you. It's going to give you the knowledge of that word. And you're going to know who the Lord is. And how great he is. And what he has in store for you. You might not know it, but he know it. And as you stay in that word, you'll learn. Your stories ain't no different from the stories that's in that Bible. And every time they went through, they came out. And he rewarded them above all rewards. And they still have eternal life. And nobody can take your soul away from the Heavenly Father if you stay focused. Leave your past behind you. He took away your sins for a reason and he forgave them. He remembered, but he, for, he chose not to remember them. He forgave you for your sins. That's no more a part of your life. Back then, it's not you no more. You are new in Christ. And this is a new chance for you to start on a new positive slate. And if you, as you stay faithful, you will be blessed. You will see how much favor come over your life. How many doors going to open up for you? I'm a walking testimony and I know doors have been opening. And they ain't never opened for me to, before. He's trying to wait out and test me first. Because when you get blessed, some people get blessed and they forget about who blessed them. Where the blessings came from. He want to make sure you faithful through it all. That's all. Staying positive and having faith and trusting in him and letting go is the key. I just want y'all to know this morning, don't give up. I love y'all, you know. I love humanity. I hate the fact that the enemy brings people down, takes our loved ones, causes people to hate one another killings, people going crazy, being homeless on the street. I don't have much, but I always got to give to the homeless because you think you never know one day. and You never know if it's an angel you helping or you talking to and it's just a test. But I do it out of the kindness of my heart because I don't like, I don't like when people or sad, or they feel in a certain way, or they don't have nothing. You know what I mean? I try my best to be a good human being. I've been that way all my life. And that's why the Lord came in to save what kind of heart I had. Because things that people that was closest to me that hurt me almost turned my heart to stone to the point where I would never return. But he gave my heart, me a heart of flesh instead. And he showed me 
You can want people in your life, but you don't need them. You have me. He'll never leave or forsake me. And I've seen him work in my life when everybody turned their back on me. Most people turned their back on me. I've seen the Lord's work in my life. And I know that I'm on the right path. And I know that in the end, this struggle, whatever I'm going through, because it's easier with him with me. And sometimes it can get a little irritating. It's going to pan out. The road going to be straight. Ain't like the enemy ain't going to stop coming at you. But you're going to know how to deal with the enemy. You feel me? And you know that your, the heavenly father is always with you. And he's going to make sure you prevail. Because he has the plan for your life. The enemy just trying to detour you. But he can't stop your blessings. Unless you focus on the negative and what the enemy is trying to do to you. Y'all be blessed. Show one another love. Bless your families. May the Lord bless your families. May the Lord give you peace. May the weapons that the enemy formed against you, that they don't prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. And may you and your families be covered in the blood from your head to your toe. Because the blood of Jesus, the blood still works. May you have peace and a prosperous week. And may you turn the other cheek and keep that love in your heart. Even for the ones that don't like you, may you always forgive. Blessings and love. I gotta get out of here. Peace. This is Sissy's Mess. You know I'm coming back today. With some of that spiritual mess that I got. Be blessed.